Well, strangely enough, I was uh, uh, making some soap, and I was oh. rendering some tallow, uh, some cow fat to tallow, mm -hmm. and I had a big cauldron like that one, almost that big, but not quite. And it was over an open fire in front of my house, and I needed something to stir it because none of my spoons or the neighbor's spoons would even come close to mm. stirring this big bubbling vat of fat. So I made a four or five foot long stirring paddle, oh. and that's kind of what I did the business back to. Very much a part of it. Well, in addition to the utensils, mm -hmm. um, I, I don't like to waste the wood, uh -huh. uh, so I've developed some other areas to help use my smaller pieces. And that initially started out as these uh, uh, knives and paddles. So these come from the in-between pieces from the larger spoons and stir oh, okay. And then I still had a lot of wood left over though, so that I started doing these pendants oh, about um, oh, somewhere between 12 and 15 years ago. So uh, when people come in here, I usually point out the wall of woods first. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see on some of them it will say certified wood. And we talked about those. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Very good. And here's some uh, live oak branches here that somebody brought not too long ago. That's a special tree to them. So I'm going to make them some um, uh, uh, special utensils that they requested. Interesting. They can have some salad tossers and a couple of spoons. Oh, does that happen very often where you have people All bringing? All the time, yeah. Really? Is it like a tree that died in their yard or? Yeah, um, you know, trees uh, are special to uh, lots of people. And often when people... Uh, this gallery is called the Hissing Camel. Okay. And uh, the name emanates from this old photograph over here. Uh, I got that um, over 10 or 15 years ago at an estate sale. And it belonged to uh, Dr. Schroeder, who was the former director of the San Diego Zoo. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a really humorous photo. It's probably 1940s. Um, Wow. And so I wanted a name for the gallery that was humorous, uh, make people wonder what it meant, yeah. and also easy to remember. So where do you get all of your products for the gallery? Okay, well these are mostly San Diego artists. I have um, a couple of people from Oregon, or one person from Oregon and a couple from Arizona. But the preponderance um, of pieces are San Diegans. Yeah, about 30 people. And uh, abstract expressionist trees, as they're referred to, are by Sherry Crowley Lee. And she lives in a Jane Sullivan house about 15 miles from here. And me. And are you familiar with Jane Sullivan? Yeah. Isn't yeah, uh, I had a tour of the house. It's just stunning. And then this piece in the corner. Uh, oh, you're looking at the sculpture. Yeah. Is that your sculpture? Or? That's no. That's by Jen Young. He lives wow. in Descanso. Uh, his whole family is a family of artists. Wow. And this is called the Vulcan earpiece. And if I turn it around.